So good morning, everyone. This is a studio that I work from in Hertford, just on the outskirts of Hertford, in Hertfordshire, in the UK. And uh, looking forward to getting back into this beautiful bench that was made by a friend of mine who runs a company called The Glass Toolbox. I'll just show you it here. Custom made, custom colour. Very nice bit of kit. Really excited to have this piece come out of the Lear this morning. It's a lobster for a, a larger still life piece I'm going to be putting together later in the year. It's got a little bit of cold working to do. Get rid of this sculpture punty on the back should polish out very nicely. So this morning I'm uh, filling up my furnace ready for the week's work. So uh, we actually share this studio with uh, another glassmaker, very experienced glassmaker called Simon Moore. Um, this is some of his uh, work here. This is where Simon normally works with his team in this space and the reason why we can actually carry on working is because I work with my girlfriend Bethany and when we're in here during this virus time it's just the two of us uh, Simon is and his team take a couple of weeks out and first thing I'm doing is disinfecting everything just to be safe. <laughs> you gonna say hello? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, while I'm filling the furnace today, we're doing a little bit of work in the cold shop as well. The uh, last time I was in, a couple of weeks ago, I was pulling these triangular Marini cane getting ready for making up a batch of my Still Life series, these small compositions. So they're all gonna be sliced up today, bundled up, and hopefully picked up and formed tomorrow. This is my quite messy and chaotic design, storage and work area. I've got a bunch of little fruit slices already cut up and I'm going to be making some of these pieces with the fruit cane that I've, that I've just showed you that I'm going to cut up today.
few um, cup paste or Swedish overlay black pieces to do. Two black oranges, one black lime and lemon. go into the kiln for two days. They come out obviously as you saw them go in like full fruit and then they're cut on a diamond saw and slowly ground down and polished. It's good. So when I'm putting these uh, fruit pieces together I don't usually have an assistant working with me. Um, mostly because there's, there's not a fat lot for a second person to do, so it would be a bit of a waste of time. Uh, when I make the black pieces and the white pieces, I need to do a Swedish overlay or a bubble overlay on these. Um, you could do it with powder, but I just think it gives it a much cleaner, cleaner look.
So that's it for today. Um, got a fair number of the fruits made. Each of those fruits will give me up to four of these small compositions that I'm working on. There's still quite a lot of stages to go. These pieces are quite labor intensive, so all the blank fruits have to be cold worked, and then in two days time, all of the fruit bundles need to be cut and sliced and polished. And then the compositions need to be glued onto their acrylic base. So there's quite a lot of stages still to go, but yeah, I should have a good number of these pieces for sale very soon. So thanks for watching and um, I hope that everyone gets their hot shop started up soon and everyone's staying safe and getting through this uh, crisis safely and healthily as possible. Okay, thank you. Bye.